Mike, the robot builder from New Mexico, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Mike, my man. We're gonna refer to you as Mike the Robot Builder from New Mexico. Let's, uh, let's get into a little bit about you, uh, what we're going to be doing today, bro. Um, you have uh, reached out to me uh, several times, actually. You've ordered uh, several different analysis products. Um, as of right now, as I'm filming this, um, I am scheduled to analyze four properties for you. Uh, one of which, which I'm going to do here first, is a property that you found and you'd like me to break down for you. And then on top of that, we have some MLS search and analysis products. So I'm going to be searching uh, for three additional properties on the MLS uh, for you that fit your needs. Uh, going into you, your needs, uh, what we're going to be doing um, you have a budget of $40,000 to use as a down payment. Um, you've watched a lot of my content here on Holton Wise TV, so thank you for that. And uh, just like myself, you're really big into quads. You're trying to get uh, the most amount of doors uh, as possible um, with your funds. So that's, that's a great strategy. You're interested in like B, C type stuff. Uh, you're good with Section 8. Currently, right now, <clears throat> you already own a quad in St. Louis, and uh, now you want to break into the Cleveland market. Um, you like BNC. You're okay with the risk factors there, but, you know, you don't want to get F-class, stuff like that, right? You told me that uh, you'd never buy, like, a $10,000 house or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, everything I need to know about you and what you'd like to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that property, and then I found you another quad. I'm going to do that, uh, the property you found and the quad in this video, and then I'm actually scheduled to film your other two properties uh, in a video tomorrow. Uh, so you'll probably get each of these videos released to you. So when you're watching this one for the first time, uh, probably within 24 to 48 hours after you first see this video, uh, my team will send you that second video with the other two properties that I had found for you. There was not a lot of quads on the market uh, that I liked. Uh, so just teasing it real quick. Today, we're going to do the quad you found the quad I found for you, and then I found you a triplex in Euclid as well as another duplex. Uh, I didn't see any other quads that I thought were better deals than that triplex or that duplex. Uh, but without further ado, let's get in to the property that you had presented to me. <clears throat> it is 3224 Monroe. As far as the neighborhood, I think you did a pretty uh, pretty decent job targeting a good neighborhood, okay? Let me make this bigger for you. Now, when you hear about Cleveland, the resurgence, uh, all the new neighborhoods, the biggest neighborhoods, we got uh, Ohio City right here, Tremont right here, okay? So you've got something kind of on the outskirts uh, of Ohio City. Full disclosure, this is by no means like the hottest part of of ohio city the location is what i would consider good um but it's not like the heart of it like so you're not going to get like extremely high demand to like the uh the hipster type tenants or the uh high income earners you'll get a little bit of that because the proximity is close and you're able to charge a little bit lower rent um but location wise it's, it's, I would consider it better than a C um, just because you're close, but like, I don't want you to think that you're getting that A-quality neighborhood because you're not. And uh, if uh, the grading scale of what I'm saying to you right now is unfamiliar, uh, Mike, what you can do is you can go to the Tools and Resources section on HoltonWise.com. You click the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, 
And uh, what this is, whenever it pops up, uh, this is a blog that I wrote grading every single neighborhood in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale. And it's uh, just like, you know, explaining to you what you're going to get. The higher the grade, the lower the risk. That doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make more money uh, necessarily. It's just I graded the level of risk. So like A class neighborhoods, primarily uh, most of them like Ohio City and Tremont, that's like a, a little bit different because you still get some young urban type people that want to rent. Uh, so that could be a rental market. But like a lot of the stuff, like uh, it's it's more suburban, 100% owner occupied stuff that doesn't really make sense as uh, rental properties. It's where like wealthier people in the Cleveland market live. Um, so don't think that A just means you make the most money. I think you make the most money probably in the BC area. Uh, we, we, we delve into the D a little bit, um, but the risk is high. So that's the ultimate guide. I just wanted to bring that to your attention in case <clears throat> you aren't familiar. I assume you're familiar. You said you've watched a lot of my content, but as you know, these analysis after your deal's already done, like it's a private link to you right now, but one day I will release this publicly on Holton Wise TV for everyone else to watch your content after the deals are all, all gone and there's no risk of them snaking your deal. Uh, so for everybody else that's watching my man, Mike, the Robot Builders video, a uh, little bit of info. So back to this property, though, Monroe. So, so far, it's quad. I love the fact that it's quad. That's great. I love the location. Uh, again, not an A-class area, but still a pretty good location. The price is pretty good, one sixty nine nine. Slightly confused, to be honest, uh, Mike. I'm a little confused um, by uh, what we have going on here. Um, you had said you gave me a rent roll, okay, $750, $575. 900 700 which is 2925 a month or 35100 a year. Uh, you're saying that per the listing agent, this was listed by an agent at Progressive Urban Real Estate, you're saying that uh, that agent is giving you this as uh, what the market rent is for these units, uh, but you also told me that all of the appliances are old as sin, and you're estimating roughly forty thousand dollars worth of work. Um, and but on her remarks that she publicly said, she said this: two houses with four units total in great location. Lots of work has been done by current owners since purchase, including foundation, partial roof replacement, and chimney work, plumbing and electrical, the addition of new hot water tanks, furnace, and kitchen appliances. Partial rebuilding of kitchen and stairway, updating of bathrooms, and the checking and cleaning of water and sewer lines. Great income property. Brings in just under 3000 per month when fully rented. Sought-after location and off-street parking. Possibilities, though, there are always spots on the street. I don't know. I'm assuming she's got a typo with that last sentence. I don't know what the hell she's trying to say there. Um, but you're telling me we got to do a lot of work to the property. Her her comments make it look like the owner did a lot of work. Uh which I don't, I don't really see, dude. Because um, when I pull up the photos here, like this house is just beat to ungodly hell. I saw some um, major red flags that makes me want to just right off the bat, James Wise <clears throat> deny this property for you. I think this property is going to be a a huge money pit, and I'm going to show you why. Uh, first of all, here's the back house. As you can see, we have sagging there, so that shows me structural issues. This is some of the worst uh, unlevel floors I've ever seen. Like, this clearly goes like that. Um, so I'm assuming maybe it was sagging in the middle. And then if they did do uh, jack, if they did jack it up, they jacked it way up. And I think they jacked it up too high. Um, so, like, that is just, like, totally messed up. Like, you could probably drop a marble here and it will either roll that way or that way. Um, like, just in this bathroom, I mean... A lot of the, the issues with this house, it's like there's things that you could go in and you could just repair, um, right? You could take like a kitchen, you could upgrade the counters, the flooring, cosmetic stuff like that. But then there's just like stuff that's just like functionally obsolete. And I feel like this house is just like just functionally obsolete. Like the walls, these are like the old nasty Laster and Plath walls and they're just like all jacked up. Like I just feel like if you buy this property, like – we got like some unevenness there. If you look there, it looks to be like kind of bowing up there. Walls are all uneven. This does not look level to me at all. Uh, 
like I just feel like the like what the hell is this right here? Like here's a fridge. Like what the fuck is going on over here? What the fuck is that? Um like this house is just like the ceiling's all jacked up. Uh like this is we got electrical wires that are ran in conduit outside of the wall. It's going up the wall right here and then it sinks back into the wall. Um like Hold on, is that a... Yeah, that's a... Look at that. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even notice this. Here is your deadbolt where your handle should be. And uh, here is the <laughs> the door handle way up top. Uh, like, And then just back to the other house that also looks jacked up. I, I just got James Wise deny this house. Like, this, this is just like a functionally obsolete house it's just like you have like foundation issues uh if the the realtor says that the owner did some work uh i don't i don't trust any of the work they did i mean we have a door handle at the top of the door we got foundation issues bowing walls like i don't really know what we could even do to that kitchen to ever make it like a desirable property like Ohio City, Tremont, those are like incredibly nice areas, but we are on the outskirts of that. So it's always going to be hard to attract that high quality tenant that would pay like 900 for an apartment or seven or 750 for a, a smaller apartment. You, you couple that with just like a property that's always going to be like the redheaded stepchild on the street. Like you're, you're always going to have issues with this property. It's just, it doesn't have good bones, right? It's, it's just a shitty property. Um, it's functionally obsolete. The best use for this property is likely for it to be torn down one day. Uh, so I just I got 100% James Wise deny this property. I don't want to see you uh, get involved throwing your money into that endless black hole. Let's go to a word from the sponsor of today's show quickly, and then we're going to get uh, to talking about a quad that I searched and that I think would be a much better buy for you. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business, who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. All right, Mike, you robot builder, you. Welcome back, brother. Uh, now, this is the one that I searched. I think this one is going to be a much better uh, deal for you. This one is another quad listed by Keller Williams. Okay, cool thing is this one's actually cheaper. Uh, that that just monstrosity uh, that we just analyzed, um, that was 159.9. This one's 10K cheaper, 149.9. And it is actually much nicer just based on looking at the outside. Okay, look at this. This is just like a nice, solid looking building. This to me looks like something that's got solid bones to it. Okay, all right. Other cool thing is it's uh, all four of the units are in one building, so we don't have two buildings to worry about. So we don't have two main stacks coming into the property. We don't have two roofs to worry about, right? We got one property, and look, this is a fire escape right here. So I don't think we'll have any issues with any of the units being illegal. It is zoned as a multi-use property, so we shouldn't have a problem. Just a big property. There we go. All That's all the photos they provided, but that's okay. Uh, just, you know, looking at it. From what we've seen so far, already far and away a much better, more solid property. We can get that information just from like the small hints we've seen. Another thing that's cool about this property is it is already fully occupied. Let's take a look at the rent roll. 700, 600, 500, and 400. So that is a total of 2200 a month, bringing in 26400 a year. Now, 
I don't have any uh, specific inside information on the interior of the property. The agent didn't provide it. Um, that's not necessarily like a red flag. I know some people would think that's like a red flag, but you got to understand dealing with these tenants, man, it is tough. And the majority of realtors out here in the Cleveland market, let's face it, they don't really focus on the investor business. They don't really focus on rental properties. And they're used to uh, dealing with owner occupants and owner occupants are much easier to work with when you're selling their property. You know, they want you to sell the property. They want the money for their property. So when you say, hey, I have to take pictures, you know, they're working with you, not against you. Tenants, man, totally different, right? That's why Holton Wise being who we are and doing what we do, you know, that's why you're paying for this analysis right now. You're trying to get an investor's take, someone who lives this business because, dude, it is literally night and day right like yes i am technically a realtor yes uh the listing agent is technically a realtor but like what i do and what that listing agent does those are like worlds apart they shouldn't be considered the same industry and uh it's very difficult for realtors in the residential space to end up with listings uh with rental properties like for instance when i sell my rental properties just so everyone's where i am the number one seller of investment properties in the cleveland market when i do that on the investment properties for sales show we go into the property one time we film a video tour and that's it we don't like let people come in and do showings bother the tenants all the time because dude that's how you're going to turn a decent tenant landlord relationship uh, into a combative one, and that's a problem. And then the tenants move out, and the properties are going to make less money. It's just bad for everyone. So we do things a little different here at Holton Wise, but because of that, that's why we're so successful. Uh, so I know a lot of new investors, when they start working with us, they're a little confused because they're expecting the relationship to be more similar uh, to relationships they're they're used to with like realtors they've dealt with in the past. But it ain't like that at all, baby. It's totally different. So, uh, you know, working with Holton Wise is nothing like the experience you've ever had uh, when you bought the personal homes you live in. It's just totally different business. Um, so, with that said, I don't have any specific information on, like, checking out the interior of the unit. But just based on the outside, I like what I'm seeing so far. We have a strong rent roll. The neighborhood, you're right there on Detroit Road. This neighborhood is just as good uh, as the other one. Let me pull this up for you on the map here. Okay. As I said earlier, right, some hot spots in the Cleveland market, okay? We have Ohio City, Tremont. Another really big hot spot is Detroit Shore. Right? Just like the old property was on the outskirts of Ohio City, this is like more or less... Uh, it's not necessarily on the outskirts. You're more or less like in between the Detroit Shore and the Edgewater neighborhood. These are both pretty good neighborhoods. So I would probably say what we've got our hands on here is a C, if not a B, asset. So you're definitely right in the, the general vicinity of the action. So there's no risk of buying a bad location. So I like the location here. Um, I cannot see interior photos, but... If you decide to purchase this property, you're going to want to make a contingent on an inspection from a home inspector. You always want to do that, especially if you get the analysis from me where I do everything from my desk. Like, yes, you could also upgrade your package and get my team to go in and do a video tour. But, you know, my, my film crew, they're not going to identify as much detail as a home inspector who's literally going to crawl in crawl spaces, attics, go through everything, provide you a 90-page report. So you definitely got to do that. What you're doing here, you're doing – due diligence on outside of the four walls that's your due diligence on the inside so to make a very low risk purchase you should make your offer contingent on an analysis from me and a third party home inspection just getting analysis from me isn't enough but let's read what the broker let's read what the realtor from keller williams had to say about the property solid cap rate i ran the numbers i agree it is a very solid cap rate strong investment in cash flow property near Ed edgewater detroit shoreway gordon square Incredible, well-maintained, and improved structure with four separate units, heated two-car garage with added bathroom and outside covered deck area with newer roofing, replaced windows, glass block, electric and plumbing throughout, 2,200 gross income, lower level one-bedroom and bath efficiency unit, first floor three-bed, one-bath, second floor two-bed, one-bath, third floor one-bed, cash cow, much potential, call seller agent. So... Based on their description and what I've seen from the exterior of this property, it looks to be in pretty good shape. I think her rent roll, let's go over that again, 700, 600, 500, 400. 
Um, that seems to be totally reasonable for what we have. Uh, that's going to bring in 2200 a month gross or 26400 a year gross. Let's go over the net. As you'll see, we're bringing in 26400 but that's not exactly what we're going to make. we got to factor in our costs, repairs, and maintenance. I'm going to go ahead and just guesstimate 5%. That's a pretty reasonable estimate, so that would be 110 Same thing with vacancy and non-pay and CapEx. Okay, your tenants aren't going to pay rent every single month. That's just part of the game. You invest with Holton Wise or any other uh, real estate company or you buy stuff and you uh, manage it on your own, whatever it is, man, the point being at some point someone's not going to pay the rent and you're going to have to eat that cost. It's just part of the game. So these are all uh, three reasonable uh, <clears throat> estimates, right? It's not going to be 110 every month for each of these, but that's just a reasonable estimate what you can expect from a, a large group of properties in this asset class over the long term. Your cap X, just so you know, those are like fixed items, okay? So that's like a roof. Like a roof on a big-ass property like this, I would say that's anywhere between like a twelve to $14,000 roof. It's going to last you roughly 30 years, okay? So every 30 years, you need to budget between twelve and $14,000, like clockwork. So, you know, if you're collecting your cash flow, you got to, you know, budget $110,000. Uh, every single month, knowing that that big twelve to fourteen thousand dollar bill is coming for your roof. Same thing with your furnaces; you're looking at about three grand for those. They last about thirty years as well. Hot water tanks; they're going to cost you about a grand, and they last roughly fifteen years. So that's what capex is, right? Taxes: one thousand four hundred six for the year. So breaking that down monthly, that's one seventeen. Uh, to insure this bad boy, you're looking at about a hundred bucks a month. Um, if you haven't already done so or anybody else who's watching this video right now, if you need a quote to insure your rental properties, I also own an insurance company. In the show notes below, I've got the contact information. You're going to want to contact the Hogue Agency. Uh, that is Kevin Hogue, he's my business partner in that company. He runs the day-to-days for us. We are a farmer's franchise, but we are also able to sell a ton of other insurance providers. Uh, a big one, one that we would probably want to quote you out on this property would be a company called Foremost. Okay, that is a insurance company, just like my real estate brokerage, guys. Our focus is 100% on real estate investors. That is a company built for investors by investors. Okay, so when you talk to Kevin, he's going to understand, he's going to talk the talk, walk the walk with you, right? He understands you're a landlord, you're looking to make the most money on this investment. This is a you know, a financial vehicle for you. So it's not like you got to do the dance talking to him about premiums and policies that are geared towards that owner occupant or that family you know type thing he's not going to try to sell you on your personal house uh, he's not going to try to do your car unless the discounts make sense so just purely you know if you're looking for a bare bones low premium policy from an agent that understands what your business is reach out to us again contact info for that in the show notes below Water sewer, I estimated that at 300 a month. That is an estimate of 75 a unit. I think that's a fair estimate. Water sewer goes up, goes down. Now, uh, one of those units was a three-bed. One of those units was a studio. So obviously, over the long haul, you could expect that three-bed to use more water and sewer um, than the studio. But I just kind of averaged it all out. Again, don't expect it to be 300 every month. Uh, but that's a fair estimate. Lawn care? It uh, it costs thirty three bucks for Holton Wise to cut your grass. We do it roughly sixteen times a year in the Cleveland market. That will make sure you don't get any fines or anything from the city. So that's going to be a total of five twenty eight uh, a year. Which if you break it out monthly, that's forty four bucks a month. And then lastly, property management fees, baby, my favorite expense. You got to pay the man two twenty a month. So. You're going to bring in, on average, 22, well, you're gross, right? 20, you're scheduled every month to bring in $2,200 a month. And then breaking out all of your variable and fixed expenses and calculating for those times the, don't, the tenants don't pay you $2,200 a month, you're going to spend, on average, $1,111 to operate this property, which is going to leave you with a net operating income of $1,089 a month or $13,068 a year. So just by buying this investment property, I think you'll make thirteen grand a year. You, though, can't pay for it cash, which I wouldn't want you to pay for it cash. I don't think it would be a, a wise decision to buy this cash. The best thing, the reason I love quads, the reason you love quads, is we get 
more income checks, right? More income checks for the one roof, but also more importantly, the financing. Residential financing is the best financing possible. The only downside to that 30-year residential financing is we can only get 10 of those mortgages. I assume you own your personal home. That's one, and you said you had another quad in, uh, I think it was St. Louis. So that's two. So that means you got eight mortgages left. You got $40,000 to use um, towards investing, right? So with this property, if you bought it at list price, $149.9, which you could, this is a pretty good deal at list price. If you can get a few grand off, like I would make the opening bid probably at like 140, 142. But if you had to pay list price, it's still a damn good deal. Um, but if you paid list, right? So your down payment, you need 25% down. So that's $37,475 down, okay? That means you're going to get a loan for 112425 Those tenants are going to pay that off for you, paying back your loan. It's going to add a cost of five sixty nine dollars a month or an additional $6,828 a year. Remember, your NOI was ten eighty nine dollars a month. So your net cash flow after mortgage on average should be five twenty dollars a month or sixty-two forty dollars a year. So with this property, using a loan, only putting down $37,475, you should reasonably expect to make a little bit more than $6,000 every year on average, which if you do the numbers, that is a 16.7% cash on cash return. And the property, we still have a little bit of unknowns, okay? Um, there's still some unknowns, so you have to make this contingent on inspection. But far and away, uh, Mike, I think this property is 10 times better than just that fucking abomination on Monroe. Uh, whatever you do, don't buy that house on Monroe. I I actually don't think I've looked at photos uh, of a quad in the Cleveland market in that neighborhood that I've hated as much as I as I hate that property. The, uh, the doorknob on the top of the door, uh, that's just the icing on the cake. So I, I don't like that one. That's denied. But this one, man, this is a, a solid deal for you. Of everything I analyzed, because I know you wanted those quads, uh, I think this is probably the best use of your $40,000. Um, obviously, that's going to cap you out. You can't do any more investing right now specifically till you uh, fill that back up. But if you can only get one property, I think this is the best use of your $40,000. If you would like, you can reach out to that listing agent directly. Um, you could handle that with them. Try to just do that deal because, you know, what you need from me, like, if you want, we will act as your broker, but more or less you need this information, which you've already paid for it. I've given it to you. So if you want to go to the listing agent directly, the listing agent might be more motivated to work with you directly because they're getting paid more. They don't have to pay me a buyer's agency commission. However, if you want me and my team to represent you through the whole process, go through your inspection, make sure everything's on the up and up, we can do that too. We would be more than happy to. It is totally your call though. When you buy these analysis products from me, there is no obligation, man. So you can go directly to the listing agent. You could have my team analyze it for you. Now, as I said, I already found you two more properties. I found you a triplex and I found you a duplex. There wasn't any more quads that I saw that were available that I liked for you. I just, uh, the inventory wasn't that hot. I don't think they were good deals. This triplex and this duplex, though, I think those are pretty solid deals. As I said at the top of the show, I'm scheduled to film those tomorrow. So uh, when we release this video to you in that private link, note that your second video is coming a day or two later. Because, you know, sometimes when you're bidding on these properties, these are properties that are out there on the open market. That This property is a very, very attractive investment. It's a quad. The only type of people that are buying these are guys that want to make money and it should net you on average you know 16.7 percent on your money there's a lot of other guys that would like a 16.7 percent return on their money um, so it's possible you might get outbid by the competition uh, so if that does happen it's nice you'll have that triplex and that duplex to possibly buy as well so until that time um that's all I've got for you today. For everyone else who's watched Mike's video about this property, if this is the first video you've ever seen, this is the first time you've ever watched Holton Wise TV, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. And do me a favor, 
like this video and share it with another person who's looking to get into real estate investing. That's what we do here on Holton Wise TV. We sell you properties. We break down the analytics on properties. We'll give you a clear, unbiased, no bullshit opinion of what we see. You have, Mike has already paid me to do this, right? So I will, you know, I think I've demonstrated in this video that uh, I call it like I see it, right? You know, if something's fucked up, I'm going to tell you it's fucked up, guys. I'm an investor. I run a $50 million portfolio. When I look at these properties, I only see them as investment vehicles. And when you hire me uh, to do the analysis for you, I give you everything. I don't hold back anything. We are not censored here. Uh, I like to say this is the realest real estate podcast out there because, again, if I think something's fucked up, man, I I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to give it to you straight. And even when I'm selling you properties on my show, the Investment Properties for Sale show, when I sell you guys properties, I tell you the stuff that's wrong with those properties too because investing in real estate, it's a tough game. It does make money. It's made me a really wealthy guy. But you guys have to understand, dude, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, man. Sometimes there's problems. And with any property you buy, there's going to be problems. And we like to present all of that to you here on Holton Wise TV. So we have several shows on this channel, which I want you guys all to check out. That's all I've got for you today. Mike, stay tuned for the next video I'm going to make with that triplex and that duplex. Again, that's going to come out to you in a couple days. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. High Return Real Estate is a true turnkey machine in Indianapolis, Indiana. This company was built for investors by investors. We buy, rehab, inspect, tenant, and sell stabilized turnkey real estate to investors with complete transparency on every step of the process. Every property we sell comes with a third-party inspection, both before and after the rehab, along with a six-month warranty on all major system renovations and our exclusive in-house property management team that has one goal in mind, provide our clients with high return real estate. For more information, subscribe to our mailing list in the show notes below or visit us online at highreturnrealestate.com. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, 
Colton Wise as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.